the man, the myth, the legend that is New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby joins me each week for Sundays with Serby where we discuss his most recent Q&A. This week, Steve chatted with Yankees catcher Jose Trevino. Now Steve is here to chat with me about that conversation. Steve, how you doing, man? Good, Dex. How about you? I am doing well. Now, Steve, Trevino was a fan favorite in the Bronx. So how has he embraced the love from the fans this season? Well, he remembers way back when, when he was a fan, a little boy who was mesmerized by Derek Cheater. His father was a Mickey Mantle fan and a Yankee fan. And he remembers watching those Yankees celebrate the World Series championship in 2000. He was a little boy in 2009. He, um, he recognizes the platform that he has. He knows there's a little boy or a little girl in the stands who may be seeing their first major league baseball game and he wants to make an impact he wants them to dream big the way he dreamt big and um he none he knows it won't last forever and he loves he's not so sure he's not ready to call himself a fan favorite but he is he is indeed loved by the yankee fans now trevino he's overcome the odds as an undrafted player to make it to the big leagues has he felt doubted or overlooked throughout his career and what drives him today as a player well, he was a late bloomer. He was a, actually a pitcher in high school. He played a bunch of positions. He had a 92 mile per hour fastball, but he recognized that he needed to develop. And that's why he chose Oral Roberts and they developed him there. And he wants to prove all the people who believed in him right, rather than the people who did not believe in him. And, and there were many that did not. And here he is now. He could be an all-star. He, he, in my view, he belongs on the American League all-star team. And although his main goal, as I said earlier, is to be the last team standing, celebrating a World Series championship with his beloved New York Yankees. And, um, you know, his father, I said, was a Mantle fan. His father showed him the movie 61 when Maris and Mantle engaged in that classic home run summer derby. And um, there's nothing more that he would love than to hoist that trophy with the New York Yankees. And hip, 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 Jose, right? He hip, trademarked. Hip, that, yeah, that's on his Twitter and his Instagram. He trademarked it. And um, I think we're going to be hearing more about hip, hip, Jose. And uh, how about how about you, Dex? Maybe you can trans, uh, trademark hip, hip, Henry. That doesn't no? work the same way. No, I don't think it works the same way. But I, but we'll come up with something. We'll we'll come up with something and you know bring something that we can add to this uh, yeah, segment. Yeah, right. We can do because that. your popularity is growing by the day, and uh, I think it might be time to trademark something for you. You know what? I, you know what? I'm gonna have to try to work that out, Steve. We, we we will get something done. That is Steve Servi, New York Post sports columnist. Please check out his Q and A. Thanks, Thanks, Dex. Trevino. On NewYorkPost.com, you can check that out. Steve, thanks for joining me. Good to see you again, man. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Dex.